This is 3b part 2. Now that we've set up the CSS file, part of that involved creating a blank web page which was called index.html. We're now going to set up this as the home page and first of all we're going to set up the layout. Once we've created the home page we'll be able to save this as the other pages before populating it with content. In other words it's going to act as a bit of a template. The first thing that we need to do is set up the layout and we can do this by adding uh, these generic containers. You'll find them in the where it says body text and if you go down to this style here, generic container, a div, and we click on that, it will create our first generic container for us. Now what we need to be doing is using this HTML tags view instead of normal view. And that lets us see what's going on. The problem that I've got at the moment is, as you can see, I can't click anywhere else on the screen. And that's because I didn't put any spaces in before I started. So I'm going to just undo what I've done and I'm going to create a few blank lines. Now when I create my container, you can see that I can select other areas of the web page. So what we do now is we need to set this to be the top area of our web page. So if I click on the yellow div there, and we'll change this to be top. And you can see it's set it as black because that was what we uh, set the style to be. So we're going to have another container now, which will be the next area, which will be the buttons area. So I clicked on that yellow div and now I'm clicking on buttons again. And finally, I'm just making sure I've got some space at the bottom, which I have. We'll have our final area, which will be our main content area. Now this one will stay white because we didn't specify, but well, we did specify a background color of white. So we can identify this clearly as our home page. We're just going to put some text in this top one. It's a bit difficult to see what you're doing because you can't actually see the, the cursor. But if I click on there, and I'm going to change this to heading style 1, which is the title style that we set for all web pages. And I should now be able to type uh, the name of the company, which was Royal Return. Now you can see there it's just gone back to body text. That's okay. If I highlight it, we can change it back to heading 1. And I'm going to put Royal Return, and so that I know that it's the home page, I'm going to well, I'll just type in home. That should be enough. Uh, that's so I can actually see what's going on. But also, I'm going to change the actual page title. Now, this is what appears in the tab at the top of your web browser. So at the moment, it's saying Royal Return, and I'm just going to put home so that we can see on there as well that it's the home page. So this has set up the general layout for our home page. The next tutorial will be about creating the buttons to go in this buttons area.